Hi, my name is Noah Gift and... Hello, my name is Mario Izquierdo. So what we're going to talk about today is how to use Amazon's uh, native uh, CDK, which is a cloud development kit, uh, and it has the ability to really work at a high level in code and then write that code out in, in generating a cloud formation template. Uh, really, Mario is the expert here, and he's going to guide me through how to set it up. So what are we going to cover? Let's just use it. Yeah, okay. Or okay. We, we can say, um, what is CDK? CDK is a tool for infrastructure to do to deploy infrastructure as code. You write your code, and there are a bunch of other tools like CDK, like Terraform, maybe, you know, CloudFormation already. Uh, Polemi. Polemi. Uh, Puppet Chef. Chef. So it's, 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 it's kind of a competitor, except for the, di the big difference is that Amazon itself is maintaining it. And so if you're only on Amazon, it's pot potentially maybe the most direct route to do infrastructure as code. Disadvantage versus others is only Amazon AWS. Advantage also is, is only Amazon AWS. So it's going to be simpler. It works for that. There is no adapters. It just works the way you need to do inside AWS. If you are already on AWS, it's a no-brainer for sure. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We just say three, two, one. Hey, so how do I get started with AWS CDK? Is this the documentation? Here it is. Ah, so I would click on this API reference. Is that right? Oh no, developer let's go, guide. Let's go to the developer guide ah, to, okay. to see how, how to install it. Ah, okay. So this but the reference is great for showing you all of the, the things that you need to do later. Ah, okay. So if I just did this, if I copy those two commands and then run that inside that directory, that would, all, that would be all I need to do? You need CDK command? for which you, in this case, is in TypeScript, you see it has multiple languages. CDK works in JavaScript, Python, Java. Uh -huh. let's, let's use TypeScript because it's the one I highly recommend. Uh, so you're going to need Node, you're going to need TypeScript, and you're going to need the CDK command. Uh, so, so maybe then the, the way to, to go would be to use Cloud9. I don't know if you heard about this, but... Cloud9. Yeah, so you can create an environment. It has all of the tools that you're, you're needed for AWS, like... You could run AWS S3 LS, for example. So I use it all the time because it's pre-built for AWS. And, and look, I can actually pick like any size instance. Oh, take, oh so this is going to be your, your virtual laptop, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. You and run from AWS, but is this inside the account already? Yeah, so it's already got the roles, permissions. So if I was in Starbucks or a coffee shop, it would have very, very fast speed, even though I am a slow Wi-Fi connection. So really, if you're a remote or like a you know, a, a nomad-based developer, this would be exactly where you would develop because you would always be insured you would have a great experience developing for AWS. You don't need the credentials, uh, account no. ID. It's yeah, already it's, your it's role-based. So basically, whatever account you're logged into, um, typically you wouldn't want to log in as root. You'd want to log in as maybe an admin account. And then from there, you would anything your admin account can do, it can do. So you could also have an account that's really restricted that maybe can mm -hmm. only have access to S3 or... Does or it have like the that. AWS SDK already installed? Yeah, so all, oh, all of the SDKs, are they have uh, debugging tools for Node, debugging tools for Python. The AWS okay. command line tools are already installed. So we can go ahead and take Here a look at this. Let, let's, let's see what you have installed. Uh, yeah. Try... try oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, if we I do AWS S3 LS... I can pipe it to WCL, so word count it, and, and I can count the buckets. So here we you go. have 99, you, man, you have 99 buckets, yeah, but, I, I, but the CDK one and yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, because I, I'm, I'm an AWS Let's see, CDK ML, ML is already, already installed. Oh, there's a warning there. Yeah, we can, who man. cares? We're, we're, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, we're going for speed. What about, so is, is Node already installed too? Oh, so it's actually faster to get to get the Cloud9 environment and actually installing Node. And yeah. I mean, reinstall Node is fast, but this is pretty good. Yeah, just paste that in, All just right. like that. Let's and then... paste and let's, let's generate the, the project. So, so See, this will create like a, like a Ruby on Rails kind of scaffold? A a cast, yes, it's, ah, a, okay. it's a template. The, so CDK itself is going to be a Node application itself, which ah. is, it seems a little heavy, but actually has all of it. If, it's the same as doing any, anything else in Node. It's going to have a package.json, and that is how you can serve the library with other people you can ah. you can make libraries and then people can include them all of cdk itself is is a split in different different modules that you include and you include only only what you need hmm. you can do linters you can run tests everything you can do with normal code that's great here so this generated the the the, the folder hello cdk and okay. that's, that's the project it already comes with a git ignore and, every, and with a dot git file 
And so the package to JSON, is that where it, if I wanted to install a new uh, library? This is a normal thing, yeah. Oh, One okay. of the things that are here is the CDK library itself. So oh, you okay. it generates a, a project. You can do this by yourself, but it's a lot easier to how to generate it. And so, the, and basically, is that why the tab completion works? The code completion works so well, uh, like because so this thing has like a code completion library uh, tool. So we can actually take a look at that. If I went to, uh, I forget where where this would be. I think is it is it bin? Is that is that where it is or lib? That is, uh, so Bing is going to be the main file that runs, and lib is going to have the stacks. Ah, OK. okay and and uh, I think this auto generated the stack already. Ah, OK. OK, so so yeah, maybe maybe that's a, a, it, a. It will auto complete because it's TypeScript, and TypeScript has a strong a strong types. So the, the types are going to help know what properties are optional, which not. It's going to tell you a lot of things. It's going to find a lot of errors even before you generate the CloudFormation template. Hmm. Um, OK. Then obviously when you deploy CloudFormation, you will also see what things ah, are in so there. So we could do CDK LS, and that would show me basically the stack. It shows you one stack, which that, is just the one I have right here. That one was auto generated. It's, it's going to be empty. Okay. So this this stack, why is why is it called a stack? There's a bunch of con concepts, construct, the stacks, and uh, connections. But a stack is the most important one because this is this is a CloudFormation only. Ah, and, then, not, and then if I did, and if I want to add new API calls, I would do that npm install. Is that correct? Something like this, or yeah, the npm install was not needed right now because we didn't add anything. Ah, okay. Maybe maybe to just quickly install this, the things on package JSON, but I think CDK in it already did it. Oh, there we go. So it's lib. It's right here. So this dot ts here, file. Yeah, and this you can create other stacks, and it's one of these stacks is gonna map into a cloud formation stack as ah, well. So then I just need to look at the documentation. Let's start coding. Yeah, and this thing is already laid, laid down with one stack. It's easy, easy to go. So let's let's do something simple. What about an S3 bucket? Let's go. Like you say, let's check the review. And here, that's how you make a bucket. Very simple start. OK. So I just copy that, paste it in, where, where it says the code that defines or stack the comment. I can just yep. paste it right below there. Yeah, so this class, export class, hello CDK stack, is going to define the stack, and then inside you can put anything you want. You can create buckets, you can create uh, uh, permissions, you can create Dynamo tables, you can create Lambda functions, and it's up to you, just like you do in CloudFormation, it's up to you to put everything in one big stack or just mm -hmm. multiple stacks that, have, that share outputs with, with each other. And this thing, like you were well saying there, this is, this is something that's going to become common later, but this does not create a bucket. This thing will output the template that goes to CloudFormation. Ah, OK. Let's give it a name. This is going to be the logical name. So Hello World CDK Funtime. Funtime. And you see, what we since we copy pasted, we don't have S3 yet. We need okay. to import it. And that just works like any other any other node. Let's see what's the import name. They have there for the different languages. Ah, OK. Let's start by importing here. And then we're also going to need to put it on, on the package JSON file. OK, import uh, star. Uh, as uh, AWS, yeah, just just S3. Oh, S3. Yeah. Okay, S3. I see. And then you put the uh, at and then inside the quotes and the semicolon. Yeah, keep it exactly as as ah, it is. Ah, but it doesn't auto complete. Why is why is that? Because it's not imported yet. Oh, so that's where I do the package uh, JSON. Yeah, and here you're going to include it. Okay, so and you put it like right here, like below this. Yeah, so pretty much for every AWS service that you're using, they're going to have a construct library, and and they are all under the same version. Okay. In, in future versions of CDKs, it's likely that they're going to do the mono CDK idea, which is that all CDK is just one library with all mm -hmm. of the constructs on it, because mm -hmm. you always want to have them in, all in the same version. But for now, you include this and do npm install. Ah, okay. So that's when you do npm install. Yeah, so each, each one is a little, a, a little npm package. Okay. So npm install. And then once I do this, then the .ts file, the code completion should work. Yeah, now now the TypeScript will know that that this is already oh, in, yeah, in look, your node modules. It looks like it works. It works. So this is ready to create a bucket now. Now what you do is you're gonna list the stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait, this is a good idea. Stop stop here for a second. So notice how there are no no you're using no no parameters. Ah, so it's got props. it's got like sensible defaults. Sensible defaults, and those defaults are first gonna be what you probably need, what you probably want most of the time. And also, you don't have to worry. That way, you can go for a speed. But also, those defaults are going to be secure by default. So, so you wouldn't want to, like, for example, fill out all of these even when you don't need them just for fun. 
you can experiment and all of this is going to translate in properties in cloud formation it's going to mm -hmm. create into your in you can change them later you're going to see the diff in your your template and it's in cloud formation is going to apply it but but yeah you can see if you keep scrolling down they show you all of the different options you can do but in this case you just want to have a bucket and you, yeah let's do it let's yeah. let's let's make a run how do we do this so now you will do CDK diff or no CDK diff will, will show you the difference, but this this stack does not exist yet. Try CDK synthetize. Ah, synth. Okay, okay. There we go. And well, we keep seeing this warning. Uh, let's ignore it for now. Here is the. Oh, that's really good. That is the actual cloud formation so, YAML. Yeah. So, you so what is this? Yeah. That. Explain. Like how how does this work? Stop in here. Yeah. So do you see how the hello world fun time you added? It adds like a little number at the end. Mm -hmm. That CDK is gonna add a random number there. So because you because this is code, you can have tons of stacks mm -hmm. and they are all going to create the same S3 bucket. So this wow. way, each one is going to have a different number at the end and it does, mm -hmm. doesn't collide. But that is the logical ID that CloudFormation has. And since you didn't specify a bucket name, it's going to use that as default for your bucket name. Probably it's going to be lowercase. Uh -huh. it, it has a, a few rules that just work for most of the time. So you do CDK deploy. Like you did there, now let's go check cloud formation. And here it is. It's creating your new stack. You mm. have more than 100 stacks. <laughs> no problem. Wow. Okay. So then I just walk, look at this. I look at the format. I, I check through, make sure everything's working. Yeah, the events are going to show you what's, what's happening when it's creating. So now, now cloud formation is creating the bucket. And again, mm. remember your CDK code is not doing that. Your CDK uh, code, okay. the only AP, AWS API that is using is the CloudFormation API. This okay. is some main major difference with Terraform or other similar systems that will use different APIs. Yeah, uh, because it's annoying, dude. Like uh, some of these are the tools they they like they're they're like in my opinion almost like a solution in search of a problem. Because it's a different approach, definitely. Yeah. The the big advantage here is that when something new happens on AWS, mm -hmm. they every AWS service will will be supported by CloudFormation because they are the ones that provide the CloudFormation. Ah, so look. you you immediately have it working. Ah, so it's, it's done. It's done. Now, now can I just find that bucket? Let's see. Yeah, you have the yeah, bucket. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can use you can run the same ls command you ah, ran before. Yeah, we, we can. We we can just go through here and just look. Or at you the could bucket. you could go in the in the console as well. Yeah, yeah. I like to do this, which is history. I can uh, call it by doing the uh, exclamation point. Oh. And then the number of the line of history. Look, you have a hundred. You have yeah. ninety nine problems now. Now you have a hundred. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, so this is how you create a bucket with all the defaults. Is is pretty is. It's pretty fast. It's, it, in my opinion, it's even faster with the default for most of the time, even that you're clicking on the on the AWS console, but also it's likely more secure. Yeah, so then I could just do some kind of a search. But I think one thing I'm noticing is that it may, when you do LS, ah, it's making it lowercase. So, so yeah, because that, that is the actual, this thing is showing the actual name of the S3 bucket, uh, not the logical name. Yeah. And then and the name, there is a property you could you could have used to have your specific your, your name. But most most of the time you want it to generate the name automatically uh, from yeah. the so it's all ID. it's all lowercase. So so basically, if you I have was, a lot of buckets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I, I would I would have to. I have to be somewhere over there. Yeah, but there we go. That's, here. that's it. Hello yeah. CDK stack. Hello world. And you see that? Yeah. yeah, the actual name here also has those random numbers at, at the end. Ah, okay. And and that's how it makes sure you can you can have multiple stacks creating the same bucket and they are not gonna collide. In, uh, in I see. So that's kind of like the sensible defaults idea. Again, so I can just grab for fun time. There we go. Here is. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think that's it. We we did it. We created the whole uh, stack. Thank you very much, Mario. Wait, wait. Let's do one more thing. Oh, what do we do? So this this shows you how to create a bucket, but let's let's just see the power of code as as, as infrastructure. Ah, okay. So w w would I go back to the API docs and, and maybe we could take a look at this? Let me show you. So this we this is the stack. So we ah. could create a hundred stacks with a for loop. I see. Uh, but but we can also just create a hundred buckets inside the same stack. Mm. This okay. you will use not that normally, but you will use that to to have multiple environments. But because you usually want to create a stack and deploy it to a staging or development ah. environment, and then you wanna you wanna deploy the same thing to production. So just just want to show you that this is ah, code. There's there's no configuration here. This is let me let me just show you. Make a for loop here. Okay. Let's say I want to make five hundred. Uh, may, maybe not because you already have a hundred. I don't know, I don't ever gonna reach the limit. So let's let's not run this. But j let me just show how it would look oh, like. Like almost like pseudo code. Yeah. Here. Boom. So now you're making well not exactly because now they all gonna, are gonna have the same the same. I think the 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 I is not being used. 
Uh, so we would have to like increment the, the string or something. Yeah, oh, actually, good point. Like you don't want them all to be called the same. But because it's code, then can I change the property? Yeah, just let's let's uh, make this. And it uh, even has like the auto completion. Yeah, uh, that's that's why TypeScript is really good here. It'll it'll show you what properties. But let's just make here that just, they just name them with the mm -hmm. with a suffix and the name, for example. And here now we're making five hundred buckets. Nice. Again, let's not run this thing. But here is infrastructure as ah, code. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Now this, this is, is a lot faster than using the. The, yeah. the, the, the AWS console. Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, I learned so much. Thank you so much, Mario. Okay. Okay, talk to you later. Later. Bye.